So during these COVID restrictions, you can't really go to many places and I'm in need of a bit of culture, a bit of history. So I've decided to go to Duxford, which has got a huge air museum. Just in case you're wondering, um, I'm not flying anywhere today. I'm at Duxford at the Air Museum and I've come to have a look around. Duxford in Cambridgeshire is about an hour's drive from London. It's the largest aviation museum in the UK. So if you like your engines, there's loads to have a look at. We've got Rolls Royce, we've got Linnies, we've got Jupiter, we've got loads of them. Uh, my friend who's a mechanic will like this place. This is a Tiger Moth here, this aircraft. Do you remember those, Joe? Yes. Absolutely. I'm going to get a slap. Is that the um, sort of aircraft that they used to stand on the wings? Do yeah. yeah. you want to get any Where? Okay. There's no Concorde in here. Yes. Where? Okay. Oh yeah, there's Concorde. Concorde's in here. Now this iconic plane is a record holder. It's built to travel twice the speed of sound. This is how I like to travel, either by Concorde or by helicopter. Unfortunately, I haven't got access to any at the moment. A little tip for you. If you do want to have a look around Concorde, go straight to the actual aeroplane and pick up your ticket because sometimes you could be waiting up to a couple of hours. So this is Concorde. You can see the wingspan here. Look at that. So when you got on Concorde, the tradition was just to hand you a glass of champagne. It's not like that now, is it? Is it? Especially on Ryanair or Wizz Air. Got a bit of a quiz for you. True or false? Uh, the first in-flight film for airline passengers was shown in the 1960s. Is that true or false? True. It's false, Joe. The first in-flight films were shown in the 1920s. In the 1920s. There's over 200 aircraft to explore here at Duxford. If you like Flying Virgin, this is uh, Richard Branson's um, balloon capsule that he was in. God, look at it now. It looks like it's seen better days, isn't it? So apparently Richard Branson and Per Lindstrand made the first cross the Atlantic with a hot air balloon in July 1987. The balloon successfully completed the Atlantic crossing at speeds of more than 130 miles per hour. Not only is the museum visually stimulating, it has lots of interactive activities to get involved with. It's like a big hair dryer. So we're just having a fiddle with the undercarriage. Oh look, there it is, up there. This just gives you an idea of the size of the place. There's the runway over there. That's our first unit that we've just been into. We're now going over to unit number two. And there's eight of these to do. See you Thursday. <laughs> this looks like a great big garage. Uh, privately owned aircraft that are being restored in here. Got a strong smell of paint. So that's the second hangar done. So now what we're doing is we're heading over to the third hangar, very important hangar as well, because we're going to get a cup of tea. Walking alongside the runway, you get to see lots of commercial aircraft. So that's a little Channel Island hopper plane. Look at the size of it. It's like you have to crank the older uh, propellers up. And here we've got a Monarch aeroplane as well. Do you remember those? Uh, I'm showing my age a little bit, but. Uh, that was a handbag express back in the day. It used to fly backwards and forwards to Grand Canaria. It's great, you're just walking alongside the runway. You've got all these little planes here. Um, they do have air shows here quite regularly. People can use the uh, airfield if you've got little planes, privately owned planes as well. You can restore them. There's this fantastic museum. It's very interactive. And then you've got this outdoor section as well where you can normally uh, have a look on the, each of the planes. Here we are, BOAC Cunard plane. So if you're going to join a cruise, this could have been the plane that you would have been getting onto. The American Air Museum in Duxford is a story of two nations united through war, loss, love and duty. I do like this frosted glass here with these aircraft on it. I think one of those would look nice in my garden, with the windbreak. Have we got room in the car, Joe? We do. 
Just look at the dust on that wing. Just look at the dust. So this hangar that we're in at the moment is um, dedicated to American aircraft. What is it with Americans? They have to do everything bigger. I mean, look at the size of that aircraft in the middle. It is huge. Well, that's it for this trip. Do check out the description at the bottom for more information on the Duxford Air Museum. Do make sure if you are attending, you wear a sensible pair of shoes as you can cover a hell of a lot of ground.